What's good, my good people? Welcome back to Stuck in a Rut. Listen, it's been a minute. I am in the van loading up with the fam bam because today we are heading to Texas. Yeller! We loading up right now. I got Chris back here. What up, Chris? Hey. Yeah. yeah. Marie's getting in. Say hi. You stuck in the rut, babe. I'm a little. All right. Oh, look at my hair. Look at her hair. Ooh. <laughs> Baby got her travel curls in. <laughs> so we loading up. Nope. Jay is uh, moving one of the cars, so he'll be in here in a minute. Just don't lose them, sister. I won't. About to head to the airport. How do they say air airport in Texas? Airport. <laughs> I'm talking country all week. You understand me? Oh, In the Texas. Oh, Got Jay right back there. Say what up to the vlog, right? No. <laughs> Stop being bad, right? No. <laughs> Jay, Jay, like, Jay like that bad kid. Bring it back. Bring it back. Still no. <laughs> Jay and Crystal in the back. We rolling. This is our what first. This is our first time headed to Texas gang, as a gang. family. Hey. Gang, gang. I don't know why the kids do this, but gang, gang. Yeah, oh, stop. Baby. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. We done made it to the airport. About to go see my niece, Madison. Congratulations, baby girl, for graduating high school. Got the squad with me. Y'all know what it is. At the airport, about to get on the shuttle. Got my baby right there. So, leaving Phoenix, headed to Texas. Going from hot to moist. So, for my people, just to let y'all know, when I travel, um, when I go to the airport, I got to use... The handicap accessible uh, van to get us to the airport. This is like the shuttle, right quick. So we with Blue Sky. They are amazing. We use them all the time. So we about to jump on there, transition to the airport. That's what it is. Party bus. Woo! Yep. Woo! Party bus. Yep. Woo! On the way to Texas. Where she gonna be like? Oh, no. Can oh, I put, no. can I reverse this boy? Oh, no. reverse it. On the way to Houston, Texas. Oh, Houston. You know what I'm saying? Houston, here we come. Houston, here we come. You better get ready because there's gonna be a whole bunch of runners on there. You better get ready. You right now. Get ready. <laughs> Don't get ready when we get there. Get ready now. Get ready now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> All right, we're boarding plane one of two. Got the squad here. Y'all know what it is. Got two. Planes to get to Katy, Texas. We gotta go to Dallas, and then we gotta swap planes, and then we have to go to Houston, and then we'll drive over to Katy. So it's about to be a long, crazy travel day, but gotta do it. Gotta do it. This is how I transfer from my wheelchair to the plane chair. Let's go. Will, CI2, we can go places, most chairs can't. Where will you go? All right, guys, the journey continues. We are on flight number two. Almost there. Let's go. Flight number two. We had to get off and go to the aisle chair. This is what an aisle chair looks like. I think I had a position. Um, uh, airport chair. This is what that looks like. And then they pushed me over to the next gate, probably like three gates down. And then they got me back in the outer chair. So they were going to get in my seat. It's a lot. But the good news is, 
Going from Dallas to Houston now. And once we get to Houston, we will land. I'll be getting back in my regular chair. And then the trip begins. Got about an hour flight. So let's get this over with. Thank you. Uh, what's up, y'all? So we have made it to Houston. Um, wow, that is huge. Yeah. Uh, after two flights in seven hours, we are here. But the controller on my power wheelchair is broken. And the rubber power on my left armrest is broken as well. So we had to go to uh, make a claim uh, for the damage that was done on my wheelchair. Very unfortunate. And then we had to walk, I want to say about four mile, miles. We had to walk about four miles uh, my crew is somewhere way back there to uh, get to the parking garage which is through those doors so it's about um, it's 12.25 now and uh, we're hungry pretty tired so thought I'd come on to make this update because I know none of them feel like being on camera right now <laughs> so alright hopefully we'll be uh, at the Airbnb I think they said we got about an hour drive what a day, man. And look at that thing. Ugh. I'll catch up with y'all when we get to the spot. It is 2.30 in the morning. Texas time. We just made it to the Airbnb. Wow. That's like 12 hours of a travel day. But we being kind of quiet. The crew over here, we just got in. But baby boy is upstairs with the baby, so... We gonna keep it down, but it's been a long day, y'all. As you can imagine, I got a whole story that go with the whole airport thing. Had a crazy little experience, so I do a story time about that. But we about to catch some Z's. All right, check y'all out tomorrow. All right, so clearly we about to go to bed. But let me show y'all how crazy this Airbnb room is. Yo, that is nuts. A piece of art. I like that. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. So, that's where I'm going to be. Baby, hey, Ooh. that baby cute. Yeah, the wind feel good out here a little bit. Hi, mama. Hi, baby. Ooh, that, that baby cute. That might bake baby. That baby. baby. Somebody pay you some Cheetos. Sure did. She's tearing the Cheetos up. Mm -hmm. little Two little teeth. Two little teeth. Look at the cute feet, mama. That baby cute. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. What you doing down in the Long Star State? Uh huh. Look you. Oh, got my mom and dad here. Listen, y'all, 44 years in the game. Still in love. We're out here in Houston, Texas. Well, Katy, Texas, for our first Rutley and um, uh, gathering uh, to celebrate our oldest niece. Graduation and family reunion. Mama, Dad, how did you do 44 years? How do you successfully do 44 years and stay happy and it's genuine? How is that possible? Uh huh. <laughs> For us, yes. it's the Lord. It is truly the Lord. That's number one. And the beautiful thing about it is our relationship. We became best friends first. Yeah. It wasn't physical. It was spiritual. a spiritual connection. Was. And I mean, he keeps me in stitches. 44 years later, we are inseparable. You know, we don't want to go anywhere without each other. And we just enjoy each other's company. And we have the same goals. We all wanted the same thing. And that makes a difference. Well, may I add to that that every day, make it a practice 
not only to touch each other, but to say that you love each other. Sometimes we'll say, have I said or told you I love you today? Uh, you need times, time out in your relationship. There are times when you need to call time out, so to speak, that means to take a break. Uh, be willing to accept constructive criticism without falling out or holding it against your mate. Yes. You know, you gotta open yourself up to that and trust that person. And uh, you have to keep your love fresh. Mm -hmm. And that's on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But that comes as a result of you renewing, as you renew your relationship with the Lord on a daily, then you will also learn how to do the same in your in your relationship with your spouse. It's, it's, it's awesome. If I had to do this again, yeah. I would. I would. Best parents I in the world. Too. I would. I love and it. He, it's, it's, it's and he's crazy. He's crazy because I, I, when I, when I but got I didn't used married, to be crazy. I was a smart boy. I was saying. <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 and, look at and, you, Pastor. And you have to laugh. I mean, we laugh about everything. Yes, you, you know. Learn how just to laugh. laugh at yourself, laugh at situations, you know, and and just love each other like you want to be loved, you know. And 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 as the Lord, you let nothing or no one come between that. That's right. Don't don't don't. You don't even allow yourself to come between what God has established. Remember yeah. what the scripture says, yeah. what God has joined together, let no man, and that's including you mm -hmm. or I or whomever, no, you don't let nobody come between that. And I just want to add one other thing. This generation, they're too quick to quit. You know, I knew I wasn't going nowhere. He knew he wasn't going nowhere. So I, you, you have to make your choice every day. You choose to still be in love. Mm -hmm. And you also choose to, choose. you know, you can either be mad all day or you can enjoy your day. I say make love instead of making war. Yeah. You know, you make a choice. I like to be happy. We like peace in our home. Yeah. And it's peaceful. We ain't fighting. And ain't nobody got time for that. Quick to repent, man. Yeah, quick to say I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And to forgive yeah. me. And forgive me and yeah. keep it moving. Keep it, moving. Keep it real. <laughs> I love it. And I love you guys. Love Thank you me. again. We got the full interview coming soon. Happy anniversary, Mama Dad. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you guys. Thank you. House. I got Macho Man Randy Savage. Give it to him, B. We are all together. Houston, Texas. I want to tell you something, brother. You've never felt the power and the fire burning inside like you feel it right now. Oh, yeah, brother. Right here in 2022, Houston, Texas. I want to see you, the macho man Randy Savage, in Andre the Giant. Yeah. WrestleMania 19, right here in Detroit. Yeah, brother. If you're not ready to feel your bones breaking, brother. Why are you Got all my babies here. Hey, this is oh, this our YouTube. This our YouTube channel stuck in a rut. What's up? Hey. Hey. These my babies. I got Kirsten. I got Ray. I got Morgan. No, that's Taylor. That's, that's Taylor. Taylor. I'm sorry. That go Morgan down there. These my babies. And I got little mama Faith. Come on, come on, Grace.
I got Grace. Subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, like they said. Hit that notification bell. Look at Faith. That's the baby. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel like my baby said, please. I got big the oldest, the oldest rugby brother, my man Ryan. Oh my God, my man, my man Ryan. And this joint from Michigan, the maestro. Bitty, glad you made it, boy. Bitty. <laughs> Ain't no P in this. This not stuck on the right channel, man. Say what's up to our people. Wow. You too. What in the world is up, y'all? I think y'all know y'all got good people in there. Y'all need to stay locked in. Get subscribed. If you ain't subscribed, click on the button on the below dot. Do what the you. man said, please. You already know what it is. If you don't subscribe, we don't like you. We just ain't gonna like you. Oh, sorry. This is your, this your channel, right? Yeah. If you don't subscribe, I'm not gonna like you. How about that? So. I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, listen, this is a good spot to be, y'all. More content coming y'all way. Stay connected. Stay uh, committed to this page, man. You're going to get some good content here, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank God for y'all. Hey, this is the spot to be at. Right? And follow Big Bro. Follow Ryan and the Psalms group on Instagram, on Facebook. Be run in the house. Everywhere. All my videos oh. right here. Man, the little midget oh, oh, man. The your boy B Rudder's the little big fella. The win the midget was mogul the, the midget the midget. Mama the Jackson Michigan midget. The Michigan midget. That's how the coast to coast with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> the official manager born music. Oh. Michigan. The Michigan midget. Right. Like, the, the midget. The Michigan from the Michigan. The Michigan midget oh, made the midget man. Mess, mess, mess it up. The, mi from the, the, mid the midget from Michigan. <laughs> That's what it is. Hey, he did my video for Your Grace is Amazing. Go watch that. Featuring Pastor Your Grace Garrett. is Amazing. Killed. Yeah, dog, right. We ain't done. Bro. We ain't done, y'all. We ain't done. Three of them right here. Yeah, I think they done. Shot down, baby. <laughs> we just warming up. Warming up. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. oh. Got my sisters right here with me. Hey. Stuck in a rut. Toya. Hey. Hello. Kanita, Crystal. Got my baby Reese right there. Y'all know who that is. Got baby Faith right there. Hi, Hi mama. This is our Stuck in a Rut channel right quick, y'all. We over here with the family reunion. Here for Maddie Poo. Got my girl, all the girls in here. Yeah. Y'all know what it is. Rudleys. All these Rudleys. There's a whole bunch of Rudleys. Bless them. We all over. We got Kanita, is, Kanita and Ryan are in Michigan now. Latoya and Byron are in Milwaukee. And Baby Faith and Crystal and Reese are in Arizona. <laughs> With me and Jay. <laughs> Baby Faith living. We live, Faith. She's like, I run the world, okay? Yep, it's a world traveler. Yes. She a baby and she got more flights than me already. <laughs> Facts. Make no sense. Love y'all. Oh, dear love. She's waiting for you. Love my baby. Love baby. Oh, dear love. Waiting for you. Thank you. Tonight was amazing. It's um, really humid, but it's really sticky, but that's okay. We had family picture night. It was great, man. Tomorrow he's going on to the niece's uh, graduation party. So, amazing time so far. I like Texas, y'all. I like it. 
today is Sunday, and I'm out here at my niece's. We are out here at my niece's Madison's uh, party. She's out there with her friends. She got her whole little crew of friends out there. We're in the yard. The kids are over on the playing on the um the jumpity jump thing. Stephanie right there, Crystal. Wow, the breeze is nice. You know, the Derek, Derek out here doing his duty. All right, doing the cleanup duty. And uh, about to give me a little bit of um, beef and broccoli and lo mein. They got all kind of little food up in here. I don't need none of it, but today I'm going to eat it. So congratulations to my baby. We're going to be doing little pictures and stuff out here. Uncle J. Rose. Absolutely. What's good, good people? We back. Today was shopping and sightseeing day and barbecue day. We over here in Richmond, Texas at Spring Creek Barbecue. Huh, a lot of people have been talking about get y'all some good food and not until today. I think today is like day five out of the trip. So we had to stop by and get us some good barbecue. They very, the hospitality was amazing. The food was awesome. Macaroni and cheese was crafty, but the food was great. We had brisket, sausage, uh, somebody else had chicken, somebody else had ribs. It was all good. Spring Creek Barbecue in Richmond, Texas. Five stars. Absolutely. Breakfast time. Yeah. What's happening? About to get down on the grill. Our lady's coming back. Hey, y'all. Well, Texas, you've been kind, you've been nice to us, treated us well. We're getting ready to take off. Found a Black Bear Diner down here. This is one of our favorite spots in Arizona. They're all over the place. If you haven't had Black Bear Diner, you gotta try it. But uh, wow, food was great, fellowship was great, family was great. Now we head back to the airport. Stuck in a rut. Let's go. This awesome team here, these awesome guys here, thank you guys for your help. So we got stuck on this flight and basically they canceled the flight. Everybody got off and uh, I was on my way to get off and they came back and said the flight is reinstated so I didn't have to transfer and get off the flight. So my team is sitting here. The plane is empty. We're gonna just wait it out for a little bit and see what happens. Never had a uh, flight canceled while we were on the flight before. So. So we'll play it out and see what happens. Good evening. It is about 11 p.m. 11.30, I think, maybe. And uh, it is now Tuesday night. Uh, we were supposed to be back home. So what happened was we got on the plane earlier today and uh, we're headed back to Phoenix, but we had to take a labor flight. So we went, we were gonna go from Houston to Dallas, but when we got on the Houston flight to go to Dallas for an hour and a half layover then to Phoenix, the Houston flight said that there were um, something going on 
turn off the engine or something that needs to be tested or checked. So we were getting off the plane um, when they were told that it's a possibility that this plane may be fixed in enough time to get us over to Dallas. But um, we sat on the plane long enough and um, then we were given the option. They said, hey, we can get you guys over to Dallas. However, you might miss that flight to Phoenix and then you'll be stuck in Dallas for a night. Or you can stay here in Houston for a night. We'll put you guys up in a hotel and um, and you can take a straight flight to Phoenix from here tomorrow. However, you have to go to another airport. So we're staying over in um, Houston. Um, had dinner with Jay and Chris. Had a good time tonight. And um, Reese is getting us ready. Um, getting the room ready now for bed because we're going to stay over here and then we're going to do a late checkout. Then we're going to head straight from Houston to Phoenix tomorrow. So we had an extra day out here. It was not planned, um, but it was all right. It was all right. It was a cool night, a laid back night, chill. Um, Southwest did a good job kind of, you know, making it as comfortable as possible. But these things happen, I guess. This is my first time having an, a, a flight canceled on me. This is my first time having a flight canceled on me. Especially when you're on the plane. Like, we're on the plane getting ready to take off, and they're like, ain't happening. So, we stayed over. Can't wait to get home. Been a great trip. But, um, travel days suck. Let's just be honest. Travel days suck. Being at the destination is great, but the travel day suck. Once you get to where you're headed, it's all good. But the travel day sucks. All right, saying good night, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. If you like this kind of video, we'll appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite part of the vlog was. And until next time, stay stuck in the rut.